one of the main things we want to talk about was Trek. I'd love to get thoughts from each of you on what's yeah, going well, on. Yeah, we're talking about right? Texas. Um, yeah. Yep. Kind of been the, um, kind of got everybody's, kind of got the hen house ruffled a little bit uh, <laughs> down here in Texas. I know I've, I've been pretty vocal about it. Um, yeah. So, you know, the, the, the jury's still out on ultimately what's going to happen with our attorney general, Texas attorney general's opinion as to licensure of landmen working on renewables yeah. projects. Um, I think that, that, that opinion that came out was very surprising, frankly, to the landman community. Um, we were, you know, told and, and had pretty confident and had a high level of confidence that the work that the AAPL did and, and our associations did with our lobbying groups and, and our legislature, um, you know, address the fact that landmen can do land work and shouldn't and do not have to be licensed through the Texas Real Estate Commission. Um, the attorney general came out with an opinion that's a little contrary to that. Uh, in particular, it was focused on folks, you know, landmen negotiating wind leases. And the AG says that those people, that if a landman is negotiating a wind lease, that it's their opinion that they should be licensed by the Texas Real Estate Commission and be a licensed realtor. That kind of flies in the face of, you know, 20 years, 50 years of precedence, in particular, 20 years of precedence in the wind space. Um, and, you know, wind activity is there. There's a lot of, we have a lot of clients that we do wind projects for, uh, but it's not the lion's share of what we would deem as renewables. The concern is, is that their logic that they applied to, you know, and specifically stated, you know, wind projects as being the concern, the logic applies to any renewables work that we're doing, solar, battery storage, all those things. And, um, and so the opinion came out, now the legislature has to, has to clarify what the, what the laws are and the rules of the game are going to be. And, um, you know, the, the landman lobbies really hot and heavy to make sure that we protect the, protect the rights of landmen to do land work in the traditional way that they have, uh, without having to have licensing through the Texas real estate commission. And then also having to maintain, a um, AAPL license or not an AAPL license, but AAPL membership and continuing education and all those things. So, uh, the jury's out. We're being very vocal. I'm encouraging everyone in the lane community in Texas to be vocal about it. Uh, we got to make sure we get this right. Um, because you know, the fact is Texas is the energy capital of, of, of the world in a lot of places in a lot of ways in the U S. Um, ultimately other states are going to look to what is Texas doing? How does Texas handle this? And the last thing we want is for landmen to have to carry real realtor's license to be able to work in the renewable space. Um, it's unnecessary. Texas real estate commission does not want to license landmen. They've been very vocal about this since all this kind of came out. So, uh, we're pushing on it. Hopefully we'll get it right, but it's been the big, it's been the, been the, uh, kind of the elephant in the room of late and it's receiving a lot of talk and a lot of attention. So hopefully we'll get it right. Yeah. Like the main point of that is you're right. Everybody's going to look at Texas. If this happens and, and in fact, if it happens in Oklahoma, it happens in Ohio, it happens in P everybody's going to look at what happens and then try to follow suit. And I mean, frankly, it's just a money grab. Truthfully, that's what it is. It's, it, it has nothing to do with what the real estate commission can bring to the table because they really can't. AAPL covers all that. Um, it has everything to do with just a money grab. That's it. And it's just unfortunate that, you know, there are politicians and people in power that that's what motivates them. And, um, that's, it's just unfortunate. It's funny. They should all take those, uh, assessments from Pamela. <laughs> if they have a high economic drive, you cannot be a politician. You shouldn't be a politician. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> It's um, I mean, it's all the things that you see in an election year, right? It's, I mean, mm -hmm. you got it's kind of the perfect storm. You had, um, you know, realtors are struggling right now. You know, it's just a fact of the matter, and and we're certainly compassionate to that. Um, but it took one, you know, firm or one realtor group, um, out of Dallas to file a complaint and a question, and then you know, probably some political contributions in an election year to the right people. You know, maybe put this on the table. Um, that's all assumptions, but you know, hell, we're all big boys and girls here. We can kind of see the writing on the wall and see what's really going on. So hopefully it's, it gets cleared up. We're confident it's going to get cleared up. A lot of our renewables clients have asked us, Hey, what does this mean? Our advice to them and our responses, it means nothing right now. 
let's get back to work. Um, you know, the legislature is going to clean things up in the 2025 session. And then at least we'll know the rules of the game. We can go from there. I so, think if it goes through that all realtors should have to join the AAPL and become CPLs. That's just my opinion. That's right. <laughs> I agree, yeah. Steve. Yeah. That's a brilliant yeah. idea. <clears throat> Maybe we should start our own yeah. association, you know, just have them pay dues to us. You know, I think we could do just as good in some cases. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah, it's been the big old thing. So hopefully, uh, I, I mean, we're all, we're all being vocal about it and we'll get it cleaned up. We're confident it'll, it'll straighten itself out and yeah. settle in the way it should be. Yeah.